Chomp, 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 chomp. Would you like some magic beans? Oh, you guys remember that, huh? <laughs> yeah, I kind of see Makar's uh, seed uh, thingy like magic beans. Like you just plant them on a uh, soft soil and you get um, instant results. Only that this time around we're getting trees. So there's this bastard over here that we need to kill so we can get up there fast. Basically now since we have the hook shot we can get up there now. Those uh, beans were uh, or seeds were planted earlier when Makar got up there and then got ca captured. I'm going there first because I don't remember if there are those freaking hands. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I guess they're gone. Well, good. I didn't want to fight them anyways. Maybe later on in the game I'll, uh, start killing them like I should. Only that I try to avoid battle with them because not always you're successful doing the sparkle attack. But I believe I've done it before on screen. If I'm not mistaken. So let's get my car up here. <clears throat> up we go. Faster, obviously. Since he has this little helicopter of two deck leaves. Maybe he should get me one and I should try and use them both so that we could have like a super boost or something. <laughs> let's see. Uh. Oh yeah, there's a little trick in this place that I use. Normally these skulls are very far and they're very hard to get. So you can see the hook shot kills them instantly. Well, it takes the smoke away. And those skulls over there are meant to be there in an unreachable place so that you can, uh, when you start climbing up there, they start uh, annoying you. So what I do is that I use regular arrows to uh, piss them off. Let's see, and that will attract them to me as soon as they get close. I pull them and kill them, and do that to the other one. I'm pretty sure that the developers of this game wanted the skulls to stay there so that you had to climb up to actually kill them, but they did not outsmart me, so there you go. <laughs> You could do that or you can just use your ice arrows and shoot them twice so you can kill them. But I don't like to waste my magic power because I don't know when I'm going to need it. Or you can climb up there and use your, de your deco leaf. You do whatever you want. <laughs> so we're going to have to uh, make some trees around here so that Link can come up here. I also don't know if I point this out, but this, those trees have uh, two eyes and a nose. It's kind of like a living bean right there. <laughs> it doesn't talk or anything, but it has eyes, so maybe it can see you. When you stick your hook shock to them, you might hurt them a little bit, but they don't care. <laughs> it's like, oh, whatever. Trees won't mind. They can't talk, but inside they're screaming, uh, horrible, painful agony. Now I'm just thinking too much about this. I'm going to put my car in this corner, and I'm going to get Link. I put him in the corner because I'm not really sure if the freaking hand will move and kidnap him. He might end up in that cell again, and then you have to go back and get him, so I'd rather not. I just want to get this over with. And I'm not sure if this uh, temple is longer than the last one. I don't. I don't know how many videos I've spent on this. So, yeah. But we're almost there. We're gonna open this. This will also alter the fan out down there. Open a new path on the basement level. Or maybe second floor basement or something like that. 
because I believe that down there is already a basement, so... Yeah. Oh, sweet magic power, I love it. <laughs> I wish I get that more often. Whoa, we're gonna ha get hurt. Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna fall on the freaking fan. Alright. That wasn't so bad. Let's see now. So we gotta get down here. Uh, there is a way to go up with my car right there. It's a switch. You, uh... I think you, uh, push it with my car. And you get up or something like that. I don't know. Anyways. Let's do battle with the freaking skulls. Oh, I forgot to draw out my boomerang so I can stun the heads, but I guess I can just do it with the sword. The sword has a pretty good distance. You can also use your arrows if you like. Oh man, these little balls are just messing around. Uh, whoa, that almost got me. Die, 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 die. Come here, you. Bye. <laughs> it's very useful to kill him with a hammer, like, you just save a lot of time. So, this room is basically like the other one. Only that this time around, there's also something else in here. You'll notice when the battle is over. Whoa. Better use the C targeting, cause uh, he's not very distant from me, and I can always just target him. All right, so you can see the battle is over, but we have no uh, no reward. Well, what happens is that right here, as so you can see on the comp ass, <laughs> you can see that there's a treasure chest in the middle, but it's invisible, so it means that there are there's still something to uh, to do in here and you gotta get these uh, pillars off and some of these are enemies I believe in the jars the goblins so we gotta clear the room so that the treasure may appear and we get our last temple treasure shard which is really cool because right now all we need is to search around the world and do those little side quests that some of them give you treasure shards uh, others give you hearts but you know I'll check around and uh, do everything let's see so let's push this that opens the door um, see if I can not get hit by this freaking thing. Okay. So you can see an enemy came out. Ow. <laughs> yeah, they kind of try and knock you out this platform so you don't reach them anymore. Uh, if you do fall, just get the... Um, just get the arrows and shoot at them. I think there's another one on the other side over there. I think I could have jumped with the deck of leave. Mm, whatever. Let's see if I can get that chart before the end of, of this episode. Ah, it's not here. Oh, there. I think it's over there. This time around, I'll use the deck of leave. La la la. I'm my I'm my kill you noob. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so there's one left. Oh, I can always just pull it from here. Ah, oh, there we go. Hello. Die. Oh yeah, you're uh joy pendant. Thank you very much. Now die. <laughs> Sweet. We got it. 
Let's open it up. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. So what do we got? What do we got? Yes. Just remember, there are two treasure shards per temple, so if you miss one, you know that you're just needing one. If you haven't got any, there are only two. Math, it's cool, I guess. <laughs> so let's uh, continue, and I'm going to stop the video right here. And I'll see you on the next part. Bye-bye, guys.